The Sensified Life, Chapter 1, True and False Theories Contrasted The sensification set forth in the sacred scriptures has to do with the entire being, spirit, soul, and body. Here is the true idea of entire consecration. Paul prays that the church at Thessalonica may enjoy this great blessing. The very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 23 there is in the religious world a theory of sanctification which is false in itself and dangerous in its influence. In many cases, those who profess sanctification do not possess the genuine article. Their sanctification consists in talk and will worship. Those who are really seeking to perfect Christian character will never indulge the thoughts that they are sinless. Their lives may be irreproachable, they may be living representatives of the truth which they have accepted, but the more they discipline their minds to dwell upon the character of Christ and the nearer they approach to His divine image, the more clearly will they discern its spotless perfection and the more deeply will they feel their own defects. When persons claim that they are sanctified, they give sufficient evidence that they are far from being holy. They fail to see their own weakness and destitution. They look upon themselves as reflecting the image of Christ because they have no true knowledge of Him. The greater the distance between them and their Savior, the more righteous they appear in their own eyes. While with penitence and humble trust we meditate upon Jesus, whom our sins have pierced and our sorrows have burdened, we may learn to walk in His footsteps. By beholding Him, we become changed into His divine likeness. And when this work is wrought in us, we shall claim no righteousness of our own, but shall exalt Jesus Christ while we hang our helpless souls upon His merits. The Sanctified Life, Chapter 1, True and False Theories Contrasted